what a gorgeous day out here. Gorgeous carving snow and with carving, I love also beautiful transitions between one carve to the other. We got a section of snow here. Let me uh, draw a diagram of how a board can work and what it wants to do. So as long as, uh, let's see, we've got a snowboard. A side cut, a toe side edge. Here's our heel side edge. And that's all always what I'm thinking about riding one one or the other i'm never trying to ride my flat base unless i'm on a flat section so here's the nose of the board here's the tail of the board and these curves are the side cut of the board this heel side edge for us regular footers wants to make at a if we tilt the board on edge what it wants to do is make a circle a counterclockwise circle and our toe side edge if we balance ourselves on that and tilt the board it wants to make a clockwise circle. If we add more tilt, we can sharpen that turn. It'll make a tighter radius turn. If we really crank it, it'll make a super tight radius turn. Same over here, heel side edge. Crank that up and it'll make a quick counterclockwise turn. So I'm just balancing on edges. So now say if we're on our heel side edge, say if we came in from a turn up here, how do we connect to this? We got our board width right here. We can think about just slapping this edge down and aggressively getting onto here, onto this edge. One of the things I commonly see is, say someone gets a toad side turn locked in, but then they transfer to their heel side edge and instead of a nice clean arc instantly, they kind of have a fuzzy area before they get their edge locked in and before they get that nice clean cut. So the thing that I think about with that transition is the whacking my board down. Edge slicing in and I just think about slapping that downhill edge down. This is kind of advanced. So you do got to make sure you're slicing into the mountain while you're carving rather than scraping. If you're scraping slash skidding your turns, this will just lead to catching an edge. So you got to Think about getting your momentum going across the run to set you up for that turn because if your momentum's going down the hill and you transfer to that downhill edge yep that'll just be an edge catch so here's the here's the feeling and the sensation that i feel when i'm getting aggressive with those transitions i'm going to slide down right here purposely hook my heel side edge into the snow easier said than done here's the another view of that So now that I've got it, my heel side locked into the snow. Thwap, thwap. That's the sensation that I want going from my heel side edge, finishing a heel side turn and getting onto my toe side edge. Conversely, I can catch a toe side edge on purpose. <laughs> this is gonna take some tries. It's not easy to purposely hook your toe side edge like this. Toe side edge is hooked in. That's the sensation and feeling that I want when I go from, from my toe side edge to my heel side. A full thunk of my entire edge, not like a drawn out, delayed transition. I just want it to be instant and already slicing. So that exact feeling, if you can, at the top of the run on a very flat section, if you can get that downhill edge locked in and just play with your ankles, ankles and knees just a little bit like that if you can find that thunk that thwap of the whole edge that's all my transition is and it makes for a very nice clean one and it's a very quick transition so uh, let's tape some of those and see how they look
a great way to work on those transitions is doing them one turn at a time. So I'm going to, I'm on the skier's right side of the run here. I'm going to point it down, bring my board up to speed, nothing crazy fast. And all I'm going to think is heels. And once my board is pointing that over towards the left side of the run, then toes. And you can actually say heels, toes, heels, toes out loud or in your head. And it's helped me with those transitions. Always heels or toes, never kind of an in between with the skidding. So, pointer straight down. That's already enough speed. Heel. Those transitions can be done either way, but uh, thinking about our center of mass, how high we are off of our board. If we are quite low to our board with our knees bent, it gives us more margin of error. But either one can be done. Here's some with uh, kind of giraffe style legs, and then I'll go bend my knees more. with carving wait until you got a big wide open window of the people above you because we're getting our momentum going back and forth across the run and if people are bombing straight down the run within a turn or two they'll catch up and potentially hit you so look out for yourself look out for everyone else and yeah if you're already leaving some of those nice clean lines on the toe side and partially clean lines on the heel side and but that transition has a little skit that's a beautiful way to think about it so get that edge locked in and find this thunk of your whole board and boom that's the body position thunk and get center of mass into the new circle so hopefully that helps stickers in the description thank you for watching happy shredding and